I grew up poor, so I wouldn't be rich, you know? Sometimes people don't like that word, but you know, to me it makes sense, right? And uh, I played football at Georgia Tech, and I hurt my knee my last year, first game of the season, so that million dollars went out the window, so I had to find another way, right? And uh, my senior year, somebody told me about network marketing, and they said people were making money, and I said, if they can do it, I can do it, sign me up. So uh, over that period of time, I went to the top of uh, two companies, uh, two of the four biggest companies ever built, really. Uh, that's A.L. Williams and XL Telecommunications. About 10% of those companies were my downline. And then, um, but one of the things that I noticed was that a lot of people made money in network marketing. And I say a lot of people, ten, tens of thousands of people, but about 90% of people didn't make a lot of money because they couldn't recruit anybody. And then some of the people who did make money, they didn't have any. Because <laughs> they didn't know how to manage their taxes. You ever met somebody like that? Made a lot of money to have any? That was me. <laughs> okay, they didn't, they didn't have any. I'm like, well, that's a mess. If you make money, don't have any. If you don't make money, don't have any. That's, that's pretty bad, right? So I decided uh, to start a company where we would teach people how to make money and how to take care of their money so they would have some money. And uh, so thanks to this young man right here, Mr. Williams. Woo! I met him a couple years ago, less than three years ago, in Memphis. And I told him, I said, well, if you do what I show you, 18 months, you 18 to 36 months, you'll be a millionaire. And he was able to get that done in about two and a half years. Woo! He's got this team. He's, um, he's made a ton of money. And he's taking care of it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, you have to spend some, have some fun, right? But at the same time, you got to take care of some of it, too, because time mm -hmm. goes by fast. So that's what we're going to talk about, the how to do both. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can do both. I tell people all the time, it's not what you buy, it's how you buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to buy it, if you want a fancy car, buy it, but write it off. Does right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to go on a trip, do some business while you're there and make it tax deductible. Yeah. So it's not what you buy, it's right. how you buy it. And so that's the whole idea, too. So what we're going to, can everybody see back there? If not, you're welcome to move up, but um, either way is fine, okay? So we call ourselves My Econ, the personal financial success company, because uh, we believe that everybody in every institution has an economy. You got the world economy, the U.S. economy, the state economy, all the way down to our households. But what we do individually is what determines our personal economies. You know, some people just like to say, you know, they like to lump it all in like it's one. You know, like they live in Atlanta, so they get rich. But that doesn't necessarily work that way, does it? Yeah, you can be in the wealthiest place in the world and end up poor, or you can be in one of the poorest places in the world and end up wealthy. So it's what you do individually. So my econ is tied to the individual, okay? A little bit about uh, my econ. We are just a few weeks shy of being in business for 14 years. We're debt-free, technology-driven. Technology-driven is important because we're really efficient. We pay more money. We pay more money than companies that charge two to three times as much as we do because we don't have a lot of overhead, okay? Uh, we're based here in Atlanta, of course, and we've helped our associates put over $400 million in their pockets in the last several years. Woo! I like that number. Right. <laughs> and I just heard another stat the other day that was good that we're the fifth yeah, most a Google company on uh, with a uh, search company on uh, YouTube in the country. So we're getting a lot of lot of lot of uh, web apps. You know, we can measure what a company's doing there by what's going on on the web. Okay. So um, our mission is to help people attain personal financial success, and that's simply having enough money for today and the future. You know, you ever met somebody that made a lot of money, and while they were working, they made, they were happy, they were making money, and as soon as they quit, the money went away? Mm -hmm. That's because they were just making cash flow while they were working, but they weren't, they were, they didn't build any assets. You see, during our working years, the money's got to come from our labor, job, business, or combination. But at some point, that same money's got to come without us working. That's true financial freedom, isn't it? Yes. You want to get to the point where you're making money, you're not having to work. So that means you got to have assets. Stocks, bonds, real estate, 401ks, 403bs, pension plans, annuities, even a business. You know, Sid can run up and down the road all over the place because he got a residual income, right? <laughs> you know, it looks like Ty's trying to join him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he got residual income. 
But if you don't have to work for your check or go to a specific place to get your check, you can live like that, can't you? Yes. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's the whole idea, right? All right. So the bottom line, though, is most people aren't doing too well in this department. Okay? 80% of Americans don't have uh, $1,000 in savings. Okay? And 6%, 6 don't have 1000 and 8% don't have $5,000. So they make money, but they don't really have much money, do they? I mean, we know that we live in one of the you know top cities in the country, and most people they got the, they live in from paycheck to Monday. They live good between that, but this by Monday they got to be they got to get back to the job and make some more money. Don't they? <laughs> yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. We've all been there, but we all know there's a better way, right? Yeah. So what's what, so what's the solution to get to that next place? Okay. And that is real simple, okay? We need more cash and smart financial strategies. Got to have both. So you think about it like this way. What could an extra 500 a 1000 or 5000 even $10,000 a month do for a person's budget? Let's take the low number, okay? Because if you got the high number, that's pretty easy. Anybody that's got an extra 10000 15000 20000 a month coming in, anybody can figure out what to do with that. Just don't spend it all and have fun, right? But let's say they only got 1000 Let's say they weren't very good and they got 500 or 1,000 a month, they could take that money and pay off some debt real fast, couldn't they? Mm -hmm. You know, pay off a car in half the time, you know, if they're adding more to the payment. Pay off some student loans, or they could pay, or they could actually take that money and start investing, couldn't they? And build investments faster. Or they might want a new car. They got the money for the car. Or maybe they want to stop renting and start buying. You know, because renting can cost a person a fortune. My auntie's uh, bought a house in Washington, D.C. in 1949 for $12,000. Today it's worth $750,000. Okay. Wow. Well, her mortgage was a little over $100 a month. But, so her mortgage stayed $100 a month for 30 years. But if somebody was renting, their, mortgage, their rent went from $100 a month in 1949 to $5,000 a month for the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens in Atlanta, doesn't it? Yep. So renting can cost a person a fortune. So having some extra cash can change your life, even if it's not the extra cash of like sales making. If a person's got an extra thousand dollars a month or fifteen hundred a month, if they apply that with strategies to their current finances, they can make a lot of changes in a hurricane. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what my e-card is all about. Okay. So, but you know, getting that extra cash is not always easy, is it? Okay. So we've got two ways to help you get cash. The first way is through our income shifting membership. When you join my income, you get a membership, and that membership has five strategies that you implement into your current finances, and it rearranges your finances, and you end up with more cash. So if a person had less debt, they'd have more cash, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. If a person had better credit, they'd have more cash because their borrowing costs would go down. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. And so on. Okay. So we got five strategies that they implement. You can do it anywhere. You can be in a small town or a big city. If you implement these strategies in your finances, you're going to have more net cash. See, most people spend their whole life chasing a dollar by working. But they never take the time to say, how can I strategize with the dollars that I have and make it produce more? And that's what my econ is about, okay? And that's what the income shifting uh, membership is all about. The second thing is once you're got the membership and you're implementing and improving your finances, now you start referring people and you can make affiliate income, okay? And some people like to call that network marketing, some call it affiliate income, okay? So you can start making income doing this. And the market for what we do is the biggest market in the world. Now we can prove that any day of the week. All you gotta do is go out today, go out on the expressway at six o'clock in the morning, anywhere in America, and the highway is full of wow. Because people want and need more money. That's the only reason they go to work every morning. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the biggest market in the world. And people, there are a lot of good businesses out there. But the bottom line is, all of those businesses are based on getting some more what? Money. And we're in the money business, okay? All right, so let's talk about each of these in a little detail. The first one, so we got five strategies. And I think that's always important to spend just a few minutes on the strategies because if you go to market something, you've got to have value if you're going to have staying power. Does that make sense? All right, so we got correct tax withholding, we got build better credit, build great credit, minimize taxes, eliminate debt, 
and investment education. Five strategies that if you put them in your life, you're going to get more cash. Let's talk about each in detail. The first one, correct tax law, that's the easy one, okay? Over 80% of all employees, these are everybody that's getting a W-2, they, they have their W-4 filled out incorrectly. You know, when you start a job, you fill it out, right? You tell your employee how much money to take out your check for taxes. Unfortunately, the form has poor instructions, nobody helps. Over 80% of the people fill that form out incorrectly. Okay? Now, when they do that, they lose a lot of money. Okay? It's not two or $300 a month. Okay? Because of something called ROI. See, we have to, if, we want, if you want to be wealthy, you've got to think about what money can produce, not just what money can buy. See, money can buy, but money can produce. Okay, because if you invest money, it produces more money, right? Okay, so we got to think about what money can produce, all right? So the bottom line is somebody, in this case, the IRS is holding our money and investing it and making money on it, and we're not getting the money, then we're doing what? We're losing money. Am I correct? Yep. Okay, so, example, if somebody can change their W-4, get $400, put in their paycheck, that happens all the time, take that money, start investing, they're making money. Take that money, put it on their debt, they're paying off debt or they're making money. Or they may just need to put it in their lifestyle so they're not going down to pay their loans every week. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But whatever they need to do with it, it's definitely going to be better than letting the IRS hold it. Either way, it's better than that, right? So literally every day, every single day in my econ, we help hundreds of people change their W-4 and get three to $500 of more cash in their paycheck and they're not going at the end of the year, okay? So that's the first credit, that's easy. Now in Atlanta, how big is that? Okay, we got a billion dollar business sitting right here in Atlanta. In Atlanta, there's at least three million people with a W-2. 80% mm -hmm. of them, according to the IRS, got too much money getting taken out the check. Mm -hmm. It's so bad that h and R Blocks had a their big promo for the last few years was what? Get your what back? Your, your, your money, money back. <laughs> get your billions back. They said billions. Remember that commercial? H&R Block, get your billions back, America. Get your billions. That's how much money it is. It's $300 billion with a B. Okay? So that's easy. And if a person can't sell, somebody get their own money, you might as well quit talking to them about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right? So that's the first one. So that's number one. Get some cash. Boom. They start... So now they got some cash, they're on the road, they're starting to go. Okay, let's go to number two. You ever met somebody in network marketing and they're struggling, they're spending money, but they're not making any money? Right. That's the solution. Bang, they got some cash right there, okay? So they're not going to owe at the end of the year because they got tax deductions offset. Number two, build great credit. Now, credit is essential to our finances, even if a person don't think so. Even if they don't know they got a credit score, it's going to affect their lives in a major way. And not two or three hundred dollars a month. At least a half a million dollars. Think about it. Everybody paid for houses. Some people just own them. If a person rent for 30 years, didn't they buy a house? Yeah. They definitely Because ain't nobody renting them the house cheaper than the mortgage is. So if they rent for 30 years, they bought a house. Am I correct? They paid for one, they just didn't own it. Right. All right, so let's go back one more time, okay? Let's take it land. Let's say you can buy a house in Atlanta for $180,000. Let's start on they buy a house for $180,000. And let's say the mortgage is 1200 bucks, okay? Now, but they're not doing that because they got bad credit. Hmm. So they rent for 30 years. Let me show you what they lost. Number one, over the next 20 years, the price of real estate is going to double in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that one hundred and eighty thousand dollar house is going to go to three fifty to four hundred. Am I correct? Yes. That's real easy to see, isn't it? Okay. Yes. So thirty years later, if they had been buying, they would have owned a four hundred thousand dollar house and made four hundred thousand a But if they're renting, all they got is receipts. So did they lose two or three hundred a month, or they lose four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. They lost four hundred thousand. And see, these are the same people who say, "Well, I'm just waiting on my blessing." I got to get myself together. Uh -huh. I got to get my money together. Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, I, I was a product of that. My, my, my dad was that way, so we struggled financially. I didn't want to be that way, so I said, I got to make some changes, right? right. See, it's hundreds of thousands. That's the person's fortune. With bad credit, they can't get investments. 
They can't buy real estate. They can't flip anything, right? right? They can't get certain jobs, right? They can't buy cars. You know, some people, you know, there's probably half a million people in Atlanta paying 14 to 25 cent on interest on cars when they should be paying 2%. Mm -hmm. The difference between on a 750 BMW, the difference at, at uh, 750 credit and a 619 credit is $399 a month. Mm -hmm. That's the same car. So they got to drive less car, work a lesser job, and have less opportunities just because the credit is bad. So we show people how to repair, build, and maintain their credit. Now here's the key on credit repair. When a person goes to credit repair companies, all they're doing is disputing the bad stuff you have on your credit. That's only 35% of your credit score. The only person that can fix your credit is you. Because you can build credit faster than you can fix it. Mm -hmm. So we have a video series, 12 videos, where we teach you everything you need to know on how to fix your credit. Then we show you where to go get um, starter loans, where you can go get self lender loans, and they're guaranteed to, to be able to get them to build a great credit score. And obviously, good credit, great credit, lowest borrowing costs, gives you many perks, so it just makes sense to do it. Does that make sense? Anybody got questions so far? All right, we're keeping going. So that's number two. Third one is uh, minimize taxes through what we call our cash flow manager app, okay? You got two tax laws in this country, one for business owners, one for employees. Now, employees only have a handful of deductions, two or three, okay, especially with the new tax law, okay? So. Anything over, if a person's single, anything over $12,000 they pay in taxes on. If they're married, filing and joint, anything over $24,000, okay, because they raised the, the guidelines, right? Well, the bottom line is, if a person had more deductions, the only way to do that is to get in the business. Then they can lower their taxes and keep more of their cash. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the best part of about that whole thing, though, is a great deal of the money, a large percentage of the money that a business owner can write off the person would spend the money even if they didn't have a business. You ever heard people say, well, I can't afford a business? They don't understand. They can't afford not to have one. They don't have to be my income and in a business. Here's why, okay? Let's look at something, okay? Whether they got a car, whether they got a business or not, they got a car, right? Mm -hmm. Maintenance, insurance, maybe a car note, maybe lease, maybe whatever, right? They still got it. But if they got a business, now they can make it partially tax deductible. They can write off business miles at about 55 cents a mile, or write off a percentage of gas, tires, maintenance, insurance, lease payments if they're leasing the vehicle, interest payments if they're making a note on the vehicle, even a percentage of the original cost of the car. So that's thousands of dollars that they're going to spend whether they're in business or not. That's what Uber is all about. You use something that you were spending money on anyway, turn that into your business vehicle, now you can earn money with it and make it tax deductible. Does that make sense for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to see that business model more and more. Even uh, Amazon is going to hit UPS right over the head with that. UPS got all the trucks. Amazon said, hey, if you want to deliver packages for us, buy your van, and now put our sign on it, you can start delivering packages. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. See, this is, called, this is leveraging. This is using something you already have to start making money. Right. Okay? And that's the whole idea. See, if you're going to make money in this new economy, you have to leverage something that you've already got. All right? Let's go further. Well, everybody know everybody got a cell phone and internet access, right? right? Okay? And so the bottom line is, since you got it, why not write it off? So if you made $60,000 a job and you got $1,000 a year on cell phones and internet access, as long as you ain't coming to $59,000, you pay less taxes. Okay? With the car, same thing. You know, what about travel? If you're, going, if you're going to go out of town anyway, attempt to do some business, expand your business, make the trip tax deductible. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the last one is wages for children. Any business that hires employees, the wages that they pay those employees is deductible from their income. Okay? Well, so example, let's say that you were going to spend... $3,000 on your child this year, school clothes, spending money, lunch money, whatever, okay? And you're gonna do it from a job. It's gonna cost you $4,000, okay? Mm -hmm. 
okay? Because you got to make three thousand. Let the IRS take twenty-five. You got to make four. The IRS got to take twenty-five percent for taxes, right? About that. So they're going to take out a thousand. You're going to have three to take home to pay to spend on the child, right? But if you got a business now, you can pay the child the four thousand dollars. The whole four thousand is tax deductible. The child cannot get a bank account on their own anyway. So now you're just changing it from this pocket to this pocket, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now you're managing it. You spend the same three thousand on the child, and you got a thousand left for yourself. That you can do anything you want with it, because the IRS is not concerned what you do with the money. They're concerned did the child really do some work for that business? Now, what can a child do? Well, one thing they can do. Even if they're young, you can take a picture of that child and put them on your website, Mama's Motivation, Daddy's Dedication, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Sound cool saying none of that, right? And then somebody's going to ask you, what is that? And you're going to say, we have a family business, and we're building wealth in our family. I'd love to give you some information. Do you have some free information? you have a contact number? So you turn every situation into marketing. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's real simple to do that. Okay? So that's the bottom line. So the bottom line is you get now the first twelve thousand dollars that you pay the child is not tax deductible. If you're a brand new startup in business, you don't want to pay your child twelve thousand dollars. Right. Okay. So you pay them something that's reasonable. Now once you make a lot more money and you've been in business for a couple of years, you can keep raising it, and they won't. So what I did with all of our children was we started. They're all adults now. I'm like my youngest, she just graduated from UGA. Well. After doing this for 20 years, now she has her own venture capital fund with just the money that we saved. Hmm. Mm. So you can always see, if you get the dollars that normally would go to taxes, take those dollars and now use it to make money. Because money can buy things, but money can also produce things, can it? Mm -hmm. Money can make more money. That's what they do at Wall Street. They call it cash, asset, cash. You get some cash, you buy a building asset that brings you some more what? Okay. That's all they do on Wall Street, and that's what we bring to my econ. In my econ, we brought that to Main Street. You see, most of us grew up in households where we were taught that the idea to get some money is to work. Mm -hmm. Work is good, work is honorable, but that makes you a living. If you want to get rich, you got to get your money working. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The money got to work, right? That's what it's all about. But you can start that from anywhere. You know, some people say, well, when I get a lot of money, I'm going to do that. No, start with a little bit of money. And then it will grow into a lot of money. Because if you because starting the process is what helps you get more money, right? So that's the bottom line there. All right, so that's three ways. Now, we give you a cash flow manager app that comes on your phone. Keep all of your income records, your expense records, even receipts. Take a picture of it, upload it to your phone, you got the receipts. So you got all your records. If you ever have an audit, boom, you print it out, you're done. Real simple way to keep up with all your business. So that's three strategies to put cash in your pocket, isn't it? Now, so the fourth one is simple. Debt elimination, you want to get rid of debt. We give you debt training, debt elimination training. You got extra cash flow from the W-4, the other strategies. Take that cash, apply it to one debt at a time, and you put the debts in the software, it rearranges them, tell you which one to pay off first, and you can pay off all your debts quick. Now, my position on debt elimination is real simple. If you pay off consumer debt, but you should invest before you pay off debt. Now, you'll hear people say pay the debt off first, but that's, that's not real. That's, yeah, that's not good. Because if you've got $100,000 of debt, and you take the next three years to pay off all that debt, so three years now from now, you have no debt, but you lose your job, right. now you have, no that's money. bad, isn't it? <laughs> very bad. That's very bad. That's a bad day, isn't it? Yes. But if you invest, you keep carrying the debt, and three years from now, you got 100000 of debt, but you got 100000 in your investment account, and you lose your job, you say thank you. Because uh, I'm getting ready to go do something with this 100000 and build, build my dream. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you invest first. Does that make sense? You know, a lot of people do that backwards, but just think about it. People all over the world borrow millions or billions of dollars, any amount they can, to build businesses. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense to take your last down and pay off debt and, and make sure somebody else is well taken up care of, does it? Mm -mm. But they can do it any way they want to, we just tell them how to work, okay? <laughs> yeah. 
Now the last one is my favorite, investment education. Because if you're ever going to attain personal financial success, if you want to be a, a, a freedom millionaire where you got the money, do what you want to do, right? You got to have passive income, and that comes from investing. Okay, so we teach you investment terminology and investment strategies. Not ours, we teach you how love them work. Okay, and so now a person learn the moves that they can make. We don't sell investments, we just teach you how love them work, show you where all the investment companies are, you pick the one you want to pick. Then we show you how to get a, a, a maximize your return because the difference between two and five percent or eight and 12%, that difference is life changing. So you gotta get a high return on your investment, so we just teach you how to do it and where you can do that at, okay? And my favorite one is the last one on a piece of America. Think about it. People live in this country for 40 years, or they live 60, 70, 80 years, but they work minimum of 40, mm -hmm. okay? And we spend millions of dollars. If somebody make $40,000 a year for 40 years, that's $1.6 million. Mm -hmm. And they spend all of that money on companies out here every day, and they never own any company. Hmm. So my point is, at some point in our life, we have to make the conscious decision to say, I'm not going to give Walgreens all my money forever and not buy any stock. I'm not putting my money, all my money in Chase, Wells Fargo, or Bank of America, and never buy stock. So you just have to make a conscious decision to say, I'm going to buy some stock. If my money is good enough to go in the bank, and they make money on it, my money is good enough to own part of the bank. Mm -hmm. And you can buy shares and just start buying shares, you know, one at a time, a few at a time, and build your portfolio. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But my position is I'm not going to live in a country that I don't own part of what's going on there. And that's a conscious decision that you make. Because we make decisions to do what we want to do, don't we? Mm -hmm. Even a three-year-old do that. <laughs> don't get money, we'll see what happens. I bet you won't sleep. <laughs> So as adults, we should definitely do that, shouldn't we? Yeah. All right? So that's the, the, that's the membership, those five things. So you're constantly applying that to your life. It's free enough cash. You're taking this cash. You're making moves. Okay? Now, then, so only our members get that membership. Okay? Only our business associates. We have other retail products that's displayed on your website. We got a retail version of the credit repair system, it's a one-time $99, okay? We got identity, identity theft. We got the cash flow managers for people that's in real estate, insurance, other entrepreneurs, they need to keep their tax records, okay? They can get our app, it's like $9.95 a month. We got travel with just about every major company out there. We got roadside assistance, and we got a mall with a thousand stores and millions of products. Stores like Walmart, Best Buy, whatever. You refer somebody, they buy, they save money, and you get a commission check. Okay? So that's our retail product. Never, no shipping, no inventory, no customer service. All taken care of by the companies. So what we want to do is build a national business, and we don't want to have to focus on tying up our money on inventory, customer service. We just want to be the marketers. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So that's the discount. And we have many other products that we don't have time to talk about. Okay? Now, and then we've got a world-class compensation plan. Woo! All right, that's what's good about right there, right? <laughs> and that's why I'm in that world market, okay? That's why I'm still like working. Yeah, because yeah, you know some people are like, well, I mean, you know, you you got you know you got a ton of money, and you why are you still working? They still got more money to be made, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth, right? So, but by the line, you know what I like about network marketing? And you'll hear a lot of people that are like, ah, I don't want to do one of those little things, you know? Uh, you know, I mean, they don't work. Only the people at the top make money. But see, let me tell you a few things that I have learned about network marketing over the last 40 years. Number one, I never wanted to give somebody the equity on my labor. And here's what I mean by that. If you buy a house for 30 years, make a house up for 30 years, you own a house. You got to value the house. If you work for 30 years, you built value for some company. Mm -hmm. So if God gave me gifts and talent, I had I, I just I couldn't bear working for somebody for 30 years and not having the equity on my labor and my talents. Right. 
to me, that, that decided it for me right there. So when I got out of Georgia Tech at 21, I went into business the next day with no money, no car. Because I already knew what I was going to do, you know? I always laugh, you know, because, you know, sin is kind of radical, right? Right. <laughs> and I'm conservative there because I'm old, right? Or at least they think I am because I talk that way. <laughs> and I'm like, sin ain't radical at all compared to how I was when I was his. Right. Age. That was really ridiculous. <laughs> because I, I couldn't bear that. God gave me a talent for free, and I'm going to give it to somebody else. And I don't think so. It's not going to happen. So you're going to build something about it. So why not own part of that? So there's nothing wrong with a job. A job is honorable. A job is, has blessed billions of people. But why not take some of your gift and make money? Example, you know, say it's got about 10,000 people in the demo. Well, that generates him twenty five to $40,000 a month residual income. Oh, Jesus. Well, this restaurant don't generate that. Right. Mm -hmm. Save you married. <laughs> <laughs> so the bottom line is when you build a business, the business has value. Right. You can sell the business or you can just keep getting the residual. But what you build, you're going to have. So that's number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have the fastest pay system in the industry. You know, I was a networker from scratch, right? So I know people like to get paid fast. You know, so we pay every week, okay? Now, when you, it's also fast because when you, the fastest way to make money in my econ is to enroll somebody in the membership. When you enroll somebody in the membership, you're accomplishing two things. Number one, you're making money, but number two, you're building your marketing team simultaneously. That's affiliate marketing, that's referral marketing. Does that make sense? Did anybody tell anybody about Black Panther this in the, uh, eight, nine, ten months ago? Did anybody tell anybody about that movie? Mm -hmm. Did anybody tell anybody about a restaurant in the last year? Yeah. You was marketing. <laughs> Did anybody tell anybody about a social media site? You were marketing. You see? So it's just that simple, isn't it? You're marketing, okay? All right, we gotta hurry up. So the bottom line is now, and because we keep our membership costs low, we can outmarket anybody. You know, we keep our price low. Some people say, well, the price don't matter. I'm like, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't even going to discuss that. That's just silly. All right. On your first two memberships that you market, you get uh, $8 each. This is, our, this is our holiday promotion schedule. Well, once we get off the holiday promotion, this goes back up to a normal uh, commission. But right now we're on a holiday, so it's eight dollars on your first two memberships, and then you get a twenty-five percent match on those two people for as long as you're in my ego. Okay. All right. Starting with your third membership, you get twenty-eight dollars on a personal membership you sell, and up to twenty dollars to infinity on your team. So that means you can bring in Bill, that brings in Mary, that brings in Joe, that brings in Tom to infinity. So what happens when you get 100 people, 200 people, 500 people? You know, Seb's a great marketer, right? Mm -hmm. But Seb got Angela Williams on his team. You check Angela out on, on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. So Seb getting Angela, so Angela gets Seb paid every week. <laughs> <laughs> See, some people think about themselves, but my point is you've got to learn to make money on other people's time, money, effort, education, labor. You know, and some people have a problem with that. And I'm like, well, wait a minute now. On your job, they make money on you. Everywhere you shop, they make money on you. That's called capitalism. So if you want to make some money, you got to get in the game. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Even on the last day you're on earth, they're going to make money on you. The last day, they're going to get paid on you. This is where it works. <laughs> can't even die. Can't even die for free. <laughs> you can't even die for free. Somebody gonna get a beer. Now, not only do you get this upfront money, but the big money is you get up to eight dollars monthly residual on all those memberships. See, somebody signed up in my income for twenty seven ninety five. We pay out eighty dollars the next week. We advance four months of commission. No chargebacks. Because we already know some people are going to quit the first month. But we got people. I've got people I've been getting paid on for over 30 years. Mm. Okay? 
And so the bottom line is, after a person been in five months, you start getting residual income on their membership every single month. So Sarah's got people that he's getting paid on that came in his first month in business. Then people on his downline got people that they brought in that he's getting residual on. See, it starts to compound. Everybody see how that works? Mm -hmm. And see, you never know who knows who. There was a young lady in Seattle, Washington, about, this is 1994, and she knew my best friend, a guy named Alan Curry. So they told me about a company called Excel mm -hmm. Telecommunications. I looked at it and I said, yeah, this is all right for me. Well, 10% of that company, which was the fastest company to go on Wall Street, 10% of that company was my downline. Mm, thank you. Okay. So, and then when she got, when she told my best friend, and he told me, she didn't have a car. About three months later, she had a bid. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I was getting ready to sign up, she was saying, well, I don't have the money. I said, honey, you better skip your rent. See, at some point in life, you've got to make a sacrifice or a decision to put yourself in position to change your position. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. At some point in your life, you've got to make a sacrifice to put yourself in a position to change your position. You can't keep doing the same thing that you've always done and get a different result. At some point, something's got to change. You know, I had 10 bucks when I went in business, right? And uh, the bottom line was, I said, I don't have anything. Look, I got 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And my income ain't much different, right? So if you ain't got the 10 and you need the other 17, call me. I'll give it to you. <laughs> as long as you got some skin in the game, we'll get you in. Does that make sense? All right. Now, you can build a huge team using a simple principle called the three is the key. See? It's real simple. You get three people, right? Touched it, it went on crazy, didn't it? Okay, this, this thing's not working. So you get three. Help those three people get three memberships. Now that's nine new ones. Help those nine get three. Now you got 27 new ones. Help those 27 get three. You got 81 new ones. See, before you know this, you can have hundreds of thousands of people. When mm -hmm. Sid came in this business after uh, about seven months, he had like, what, 487, 450 Four, people? 432. He had 432 oh. people. He needed 800 to make the top position in Infinity. Mm. And I said, Sid, just stay focused and get it done. He's like, man, I don't see it. I was like, <laughs> I was like you ain't got to see it. You got to do it, right? <laughs> well, guess what? A few days later, Angela came in. He got some other people in. Boom. He ended up with over 1,600 people that same month. And that was like on the 6th or 7th of the month. Woo! See, you never Go know. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you, you never know when your day gonna, when your day is gonna come, right? Right. You just gotta get it. In. Look, we're in. You know, um, I started building Atlanta because I've, I've been living here since '94. But about four weeks ago, I started building Atlanta, and I said, "Man, we're in the, we're in one of the best cities on earth." Mm -hmm. You know, I know yeah. we can put a hundred thousand people in this business, in this city, in the next 18 to 36 months. Mm. So I said, well, I'll take the lead. You know, I'll, I'll go out here and make this happen. And I'll help all of you out. See, we got unlimited, we, we got plenty of resources. Mm. Any resource, any meeting when we want to get, we can buy it. We can finance any of it. Whatever we need to do, all we got to do is go to work. Does that make sense? Because mm. I want to dominate the marketplace. And if you want to dominate the marketplace, you're ready to work and you want to be wealthy doing that, now's the place, now's the time to do that. Check out these examples real quick. Okay? So if you can build a team that's producing 25 new members a week, 25 a week, okay? Well, that's going to pay you, this is the holiday promotion schedule. With the regular promotion, that goes back up to 600 But holiday, that's $500 a week. Okay? In a year's time, you would have put in 1,250 members, and that can pay you up to 10,000 a month residual income, in addition to this 500 weekly. Because everybody come in, we pay that week, bang. And then five months later, we start paying residual. Okay? Now that's building a team doing that. So you get somebody, you know, it's like all, all the, the, the people that started with me, you know, they all like me now. They all old, they all got gray hair, right? <laughs> 
Some of them semi-retired, some of them still working. I'm still ambitious, you know? I mean, I'm gonna be out here for some more years because I, I like making money, I like having fun, right? I mean, sitting on the couch, it's boring. <laughs> so, if you do 100 members a week on your team, that's 400, 2,000 a week, and by the end of the year, you have 5,000 members that can pay you up to 40,000 ongoing residual income. Mm -hmm. 250, 5,000 a week, 12, 5, 100,000 a month. The market is untouched. All these companies out here is 199, 119, 150 a month, 87, that's a joke. <laughs> okay, good companies, but if we're gonna compete, they're not competing with $34.95 a month and $27.95 no. to start, okay? They're not competing with that, okay? <laughs> I take that bet any day of the week, all right? Now, you still get up to 6% on personal sales up to 20% on team sales. So the bottom line is upfront weekly commissions, compounding residual income, to me that just makes sense. Then when you add in the idea of income shifting, minimizing taxes, it, it just makes all the sense in the world because people have to do that whether they make or not. I mean, anybody who want to improve their finances, they don't lower their taxes, eliminate their debt, improve their credit score somewhere. Am I correct? All right, so here's the last thing, last page. Let's talk about the most important part, the price, okay? Now you get the personalized website, 